to the Alagu video. I'm not sure if I'm breaking into two because it might be real long. Um, God, I can print out entire. I can print out entire cases. Four part. Like I could build boxes for entire units. Anyway, it was exactly as I figured. Um, the only thing that I, I really learned from that, there was a nine minute video. I ended up watching it in two X speed because they're not speaking. They're just doing things. And then they show the entire bed leveling process. And I'm like, I don't need to see that. Imagine if I wasn't watching that in two X and then jumping forward 30 seconds. So step one is to turn this son of a bitch on its side and get the gantry in place. So I'm sure it comes with all the right. Yes, it does. Good. So we're going to lay these here and put that in the magnetic base. We're going to turn this. Do I want to crush the button or do I want to crush the wire? Oh, the wire's got a protector. We're going to crush the wire. So basically we do this. Whoa, whoa, no, don't do that. Slippery plastic table, bad. Did you all have a heart attack with me? Good. You should have. That actually hurt my wrist. This thing weighs so much. So this goes up on here. I'm just gonna pre pre place these two. This is this might be a get Dan to do to help sort of job because this is not a stable platform and I gotta manipulate this. So this way. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything here is fine. Just remember, everything is fine. As long as you keep saying that's fine, nothing is wrong. Now, you don't want to tighten these down all the way. You just want to get them sort of holding. And then you can do your actual check, check, check. Check, check, -ity, check, check. A little bit of wiggling back and forth to make sure there's no tension on the, uh, the unit. And that will stand on its own. I'm gonna give us a slide. <sighs> he flipped it over to the other side. I may be able to get this. <sighs> I was almost like Superman. Uh... I'm just gonna try to get one aligned. Nope. I literally can't tell from this depth. There we go. I got it. So once I have at least a, a bite on these, I'll feel better about moving the entire unit over. Right now, I do not feel confident at all in flipping this. Oh, that's not doing shit. That didn't do jack and or shit. Jack and shit and Jack left town. All right, we're gonna have to flip it. We're gonna have to flip it with only one side attached, which doesn't feel good. I also left the screws in there, which are going to currently flop out like that. You've got only two friends. Jack and shit. Jack left town. There's one. There's the other. We are going to be leaning on this. Can I cut that off the table or can I use a fucking pile of this? I'm going to use a pile of that. Okay. I want that thing slamming. We're all good. We're good. We're just hanging out here, right? We're just chilling. Nothing's wrong. There's no stress. This is a no stress zone. Yeah, there's tension that has to be pulled on it to get it to align. It was too, had to be stretched this way. I wouldn't have been able to see that. I'm trying to do it from the other side. Okay. <laughs> Stand it up now for a quick second. Give it a wiggle. Yeah, it needs to be tightened, and then we're gonna do some bracing. We're gonna go back and forth and do. I love how that's just that just keeps flopping over. We're going with the hard tightened side now. Ow. Remember, this is aluminum channel. 
not steel. So you go too hard, it's never coming back. It'll just be like threads. You don't get to have any of those. Oh, probably should tighten and not loosen it. These are not the only vertical supports. We have those struts. So we're gonna strut our stuff in a second. So thank you for this pile. Um, this is indeed to hold the thing, and that's what these three or four, they did that. I could probably do that now. Of course, oh, it's magnetic. It's very magnetic, that's why that's heavy. I think this one's done. I think we're moving on to a smaller one. I don't know why they wouldn't have the exact same heads, but even smaller so. Okay, we gotta attach the spool holder on top, which actually makes it so much taller. Yeah. I'm gonna need, this is gonna suck. There we go. I mean, you could literally not install this, which would make the unit much narrower, three and a half inches narrower. Um, but then the screen would sort of just flop around on the table. So I understand its placement, but at the same time, it's just gonna be a, this unit is a living nightmare for anyone who has size complications. And of course, this is not gonna fit. I think in the video they were using, they were, this is gonna take forever. Can I put this on its side again? Even offsetting it with a little offset wrench, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. One to go. Yeah, there was no way I was doing that. The guy in the, the guy in the video was just like flipping these through. He was like, blah, blah, blah. of course, I had him on two x speed also. That's cross threading. It's either cross threading or this is too tight, and it's already. Throwing off the alignment, which could be another. Yep, yeah, that's what it was. You'll figure that out by feel. Like, why is this not cross-threading, but also not going in straight? Don't tighten anything until everything's installed loosely. <sighs> like your mom. I think any fathers tell their sons or daughters that their mom's a sex pot. Just like a freak. I think that's the thing that goes on. So access panel here no i'm sorry it's not an access panel that is just a bump down it seems such a waste of time to bump that down right there for such a small amount and here's our motor for the thing here's our power supply with the fan it's actually a pretty big fan i know on the other ones i wanted to change all the goddamn fans out make them quieter and now we do the rods spoil the child the rods are going to take the medium one, and the rods take, it's a four-piece with washers, so that's that. I really like this blue. Like, I really like this blue. Rods go to the back? Why do I think the rods went to the front? I guess the rods would go to the back. Yeah, the rods go to the back. I have to unwrap these. They're saran wrapped. Oh, God. All right, we're doing a thing. Try not to scratch the paint. Where's Cutter Master 9000? I didn't go all the way to the end, but I got it. These are pretty. Dude, just order some of these. If this whole printer's 500 bucks, you gotta be able to order like 20 of these for like $200. This can't be an expensive part. Look at these anodized fucking aluminum in blue. Ah, these are sexy. 
being a little bit too safe. Right. Where's my garbage pail? Almost missed that. Okay, we need small on here. Small up, big down. That's all you gotta know, boys and girls. Small, of course it's the wrong one. Still it's the wrong one. I'm waiting for that other one to come into use, the medium one. There is no top and bottom of these, but they are adjustable and you would check your level and then be able to adjust these rods. This is gonna be a... There's one. And then large with a washer at the bottom. Boom, right in that hole. We're not gonna tighten it till we get the other side on. Then I really need to, once you watch that video, you don't even need to read like what type of screw, you just know something needs three, it's that one. Something needs four, it's this one. It comes with washers. God, what could I, what could I print? Like I, I always felt like if I was gonna have a 3D printer, it would need to be a big one to get anything accomplished. Well, that's a big one. That's a fucking big one. So now what? Where, where does you where do you go now? Past Steve wishing he had a magical giant 3D printer that didn't exist in the in the past. Honestly, Dan's more excited about this than I am. He's gonna print an entire fascia for his air conditioning unit, like a regular air conditioner, like a shitty old air conditioner. He's like measuring it and 3D scanning it. I'm like, dude, it's just an air conditioner. You could just put some whatever on there. But Dan only thinks in 3D prints. Okay. All right, gantry up, we'll check level. Actually, it should be level. If those things went in like that, nothing should have moved. So the next step is the top bit. The buckle goes for the wire harness, which we're not ready for yet. But I'll take that out. These two pieces are for the spool holder. Let me guess, what size are these? Are you the medium list one? God damn it. I don't get it. Might be for an adjustment I don't know about. So there are two nuts already in the channel that we have to, they don't give you an alignment. I'm gonna have to actually get a tape measure out or one of these things. I guess the word elegoo sort of shows it off. Actually, what is our size? 20 and a half, so 10 and a quarter. Yep, right between the E and the G in elegoo which I can only see from this side of the table. And that goes like that. So we need to start one. And then we have here, that's the, the sensor. That's what that thing with the, that thing with the one screw, I know exactly what it is and where it goes and it's fucking important. Okay, that's in that end holding. So let's get this other one lined up. Here's where the fun part comes, because we can't see it, and I think we just fucked that up. There we go. I think that's in? Yep, she's screwing down. So, now we can just line it up. Boom, Elagooey. Elagooey. Never say that again, you can't pay me enough. I'd like to point out, I do not have an affiliate link for Elegoo, nor do they pay me for anything I do with this. It's just, you got a free printer, and I'm like, you know what? That's good enough for now. If they wanted to pay for ads on Z-Reviews, that would be a different story. Then I feel like I would actually need to do things. Yeah, filament detector. Oof, that's real. Filament detector line is very short. Oh, it might need to go over. 
because when the guy screwed it on the thing, this was on the other side. So this might have to move depending on where we mount the filament detector. Empty, 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 empty. Let's see. What does this take? Aha! Goal! We've now fucking got it. Um, How the hell did he screw this in? I think it just, this just hangs here. It's like super weird. Yeah, this is just sort of like flippy flop. McFlooper bear. Because it has to be able to move with the spool. Yeah, it's literally designed to like do this and it does oof, i'm gonna have to move that if it doesn't come over a little bit more oh there's a little bit of wire here okay we're good yeah there we go yeah that should be enough to let it flip and floop and flop i was worried about the flooping and the flipping and the flopping but there was there was some extra cabling that'll allow that so it just goes through here and the spool just feeds and then this little active it ends because it's not mounted anywhere else so next step is the wiring which this has to come up and it gets mounted i may want to go check that video to see does he go over or under because that's the other, I didn't really pay super attention to which part that was. I know all this stuff goes here. That's there. And that's there. And that sort of just hangs out there. But now this has to go to the actual drive head, which is on top, which I does not go over the top bar, obviously. It goes here, and that's what this little catch is for. This motors really need to be down. Can I make this go down a little bit? Yeah, I can, okay. There we go. Zeos is doing things now. Zeos got the, the brain, the brain go is happening with the Z, man. Oh, I'm gonna rotate this, actually. Yeah, this has to be held up here using the thing, but how the fuck are you supposed to do that? This is a giant ribbon cable. Does he just fold this cable a bunch of times into here? I think that's what it is. I think it's just, you just fold this there. Dude, I'd be super worried about these little, little wires getting a, me a messed up. Getting a messed up. All right, let's go back to the video for a second. It should be open. Like my shoes, they make squeaky noises. Megaman. Not Megaman. Do 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 do. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm gonna lower that music in case it's uh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. This is what we're up to. So he's bringing that there first. Bundle to the back. She? Those are some really long nails. And then we're looping that through. We're squ squishing it and putting it just right into that hole with the two wires there. So like five or six inches up. Oh, because it's not going to, as long as it's all the way to the right, we'll know the length on it. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. I just want to verify. Verification is important. You need to verify shit before you undo your life force so he has this over here he's got this plugged in through the through the carry straps first in the back 
And then there are these little locks that hold it in place. Should move those over. It's like I'm stalling an old ID hard drive. This is not doesn't have the right angle. Oh god, I don't like the way this feels. And it clicks in place. There we go. So it actually locks like RAM in a RAM slot. So now we can slide that all the way over. And then we can figure out where to put this. And they were doing back to front. Because they're trying to keep as much distance as they can from the the screws. Wow, what, a, what an annoying thing this is. This is the most annoying part of the build so far. I don't want to get it in the slot. I want to keep it in the bubble section of that tie down. I can feel every time I let go of it, it's like tries to slide underneath and get crushed. So. There we go. This isn't actually that tight. And it's still a little bit close to that spinning screw, but. Well, we'll see when it starts moving. If we hate anything about that. This is good. This is sort of hanging out. When are they going to make all this shit, like, internal in the bracket? Then you're golden. So I think after that, it's just plug this in and bed leveling. Like, we're, we're, we're done. The nozzles are extra. All the tools are basically done. Uh, check for a shaky print head. I've never had one of these be, like, loose. Yeah, I think that's, that's just... I'm going to loosen that up. Tighten that up now. The bed. The bed has to be level. There's a whole series of leveling events that have to happen. Before powering on, please check to ensure the input voltage in the machine and power supply is adjusted for a match your local voltage. Oh, that's a that's a that's a good idea, actually. Where the fuck is it? Uh, I'd say this unit weighs 25 pounds. Oh, don't lift it up this direction because we'll break that off the unit. I forgot we added that. You could tell I've tightened this because it barely slides now. Huh. I do not see the adjustment. For 110 versus 220. Why tell me to check it if there is no immediate way to check it? There's a storage drawer. Huh. I wonder if it's if it's inside this. I'm not fucking ripping it apart now. It's not on top. Does it say? 17.7 .7 kilograms net weight FDM 100 to 240. It doesn't have a switch. It's just rated for that. Machine power 480 watts. Build size, machine size. Machine size is 658 by 632 by 740. The Neptune 3 Max made in China. The telephone number and everything. So, yeah. I guess we're on... I might just put this on every one of these controllers if they use this on more than one. And this just doesn't have it. It didn't say anything on that video, I'll tell you that much about that. Boom. Boom. Now, I may not actually get this thing printing today. I'll leave that for Dan tomorrow. Because I don't want to feed in the filament that they gave me. And I don't want to give it any of the filament I got sitting there unless I know what I'm doing with it. But you've got your manual feed. Oh, that's your that's your feed release. Yeah, that's your feed release. Interesting. Everything else feels pretty solid. She a thing. She a thing. She a thing. Um, fuck. See, the problem is, like, I have filament like this red shit that's just been sitting out in my temperature-controlled basement now. 
with a humidifier, but you really want these things dry as fuck. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a good filament to jam into this monster. Like, I don't care about it, so I can use the whole thing to print one thing if I felt like it. But like, I got the blue stuff that's nice. I think this is Atomic over here, this neon. Uh, print temperature 190 to 220, storage temperature 50 degrees C. So this would just go here. Boom. And then it would go here. Where did the end go? I just saw it. I seen it. There it is. Here's your detector. And you do this. You can crank that down or up. Yeah, you can use this for cranking it up or down, maybe. That should be it. I'm good to go. And then is this just gonna it's just gonna pull this back and forth like that? That's gonna be fucking wild. Especially if you're printing at the maximum height, which how would I do that? I would I'm assuming the stop is somewhere around here. I guess that still works. This is just gonna get your filament better not be brittle. Like this, this filament feels brittle, so I'd be worried about it a little bit. But all right, I, I guess I have to go get a plug and plug this fucking thing in. Oh, uh, the one on top of the steps. I really, this is the part. Like I'm good with building it; it's fucking fun. But as soon as you turn it on and it starts calibrating, and I fucked up, and it goes because ah, 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 it, it hits the base. It's like I'm scared. I did something wrong. Let's take down. Bring those down. This is got, these have got to come down. Welcome to me taking everything to my basement, including the cool power cord I used for the last 3D print. Sweet. I'll leave these pads here. These are the new Dacone gels. Body move it. Body move it. Um, I do actually have a plug over here that I can use. It's going to be on the same circuit as the basement lights. That'll be fun. The basement lights and the water heater. That's fine. Electric water heater and a 500 watt 3D printer. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Absolutely stellar. Pasta link to the uh, cloth covered IEC power cable, maybe. And I really don't like being over here because we're right next to my... This is my water main, which the only way my basement floods is if I flood it with the well pump. Take that out. Whew. She probably could use some rubbing alcohol on it. But let's see if she even start. Oh, I didn't... She's not going to start. I didn't plug anything else in. Holy shit. No. I'm a fucking dumbass. Okay. Dumbass is, is, is here. Probably should plug the rest of these things in. I was going to end this video and you're going to be like, wow, it was easy to install. Come on. Luckily, all these have just one place to go. So the two motors. And then these two that control the rest of the system. Yeah, it would have been real confused. It would have been like, um, no. And I would have been like, um, yeah. So that's where we get our meter here. Could feed extra of it in if you want to have more slack on the reader. Yeah, filament detector is this one. It goes all the way up here. They put a little piece of plastic over it. That should be it. Now we should officially be plugged in. One, two, three, four. The filament detector is plugged in. All the motors are plugged in. Try that again. 30 seconds of, of Zeos, you're dumb. My light's dimmed. She's booting. God, that I could put the entire other 3D printer in this 3D printer. 
I need to put something in it that's like gigantic so I could show it off to people and be like, hey, shit. 9,000 steps. Building a 3D printer. So we have settings, level, prepare, print, light control. Ooh. Nice. Fan control. Motor off, temperature settings, filament detector, factory settings about machine, firmware 1361, UI version 1.5, um, advanced settings, backlight on this. I could leave that up all the way. Key sound, I like that actually. Resume printing is a thing. If you lose power, it'll resume printing. That's, can it do that? Speed settings, maximum acceleration, maximum speed are assignable in one, five, and 10 on the axes. And then we've got the temperature settings for PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, and level. The temperature settings, I guess, when you're leveling it, 140 and 60. I'd probably make it higher than that. Languages in English by default, thank you. Uh, Prepare. Well, she moves down. Uh. I hold the home all. This might take a while. Yeah, she's return to zero. Please wait. It's moving. It's moving real fucking slow. I'd say that's enough demonstration. This moves forward and backwards. This moves left and right and it moves up and down. We'll get the actual 3D printing going, but it'll be another video. Something with Dan, possibly on my second channel and not the unboxing. If you guys that are watching unboxings, like to this level, we've watched not one, but two of these videos. And now you're at the end of the second one. Subscribe to my second channel because a lot of the things that won't fit on Z reviews and that aren't really unboxing related or weirdly not appropriate for this channel, see your second channel. Pasta, make sure Zeos second channel is linked. If not, just look for Zeos second channel, Z E O S second channel. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. This is just absolutely silent. The motors are are just just churning right now. So I guess this is all good in the hood. I just mm hmm mm hmm. We are going down the absolute slowest. We are slowly churning the filament I wonder if there's a setting that'll make this go faster. So yeah, this is like, you know, I'll give you like the peace sign, like how big this fucking thing is. I could print a garbage pail with this. But all right, I'm at 18% battery, which means it's going to die any second now. We'll see if we get to the bottom. Come on. We got this. We got this. We got it. It got real damn close. Cool. You know what? I don't even hear the power supply. Usually the power supply in this thing is like, Wah! I hear the burning rig louder. This might be the quietest printer I have. And that was previous the quietest printer from the motion, but the fucking power supply and the fan was just abysmal. This is a much smaller, actually probably just goes on the bottom. Cool. Cool. I'm cool. You're cool. See you on the second channel for more interesting unboxings and weird giant things.